Hey church, welcome back to the fire and happy new year. Um, promised you part two here on Friday, January the 1st. Again, happy new year, trusting and praying as you started 2021. Uh, you started it with the Lord and started with great hope and great expectation of what he will do this year. So three questions that I think will pose challenges for us as a church, three questions. Um, the first one, I, and I've asked this before, sitting in my backyard uh, during the summer months of uh, second worship and our second service worship, and I've asked it of all of our services at times, um, are we as tough as we ought to be? Are we as tough, are we as mature as we ought to be? Um, I, I think this year in 2021, one of the resolutions I'd like to make and I'd like for us to make as a church will be tougher. I, I talk to and listen to our people around uh, the globe, our international people, oh my gosh. And I hear about all the things they, they deal with just to be involved in worship, just to worship Jesus. And it feels like that we could get tougher. That doesn't, it? it just feels like we could get tougher. So uh, I just wonder if we, the church of Jesus Christ are as tough and as mature as we ought to be. So I think the challenge for 2021, let's get tougher. Let's get more mature. Uh, the second one is, uh, to which kingdom are we really pledging allegiance? To which kingdom are we truly pledging allegiance? I'm as patriotic as anybody. I love the 4th of July. I love living in America. Um, I, I, I do. I, I, I'm so uh, uh, truly honored and blessed by our military folk. And, and, and again, I, you know, I, I bleed red, right? Um, but my concern this year has been that I've seen more fervor and more passion in a kingdom that's ruled by man than one ruled by King Jesus. I, I, I wish I had seen in my 20 plus years of ministry, I, I, I can't remember a time where I would see this passion for the kingdom of God. But I do see it for the kingdom of the world. And I saw it this year, and we know that. Um, it was said, it's not my quote, so don't don't stone me, but it's been said that I think a lot of Christians are going to be disappointed that there's not an American flag in heaven. Uh, the good news is all the flags of all the nations will be in heaven. Uh, and I've said this before, if, if Jesus has a favorite nation, probably not America. There's a little tiny stretch of land in the Middle, middle East called Israel. So I, I just want us to make sure that we're pledging allegiance to the right kingdom. It is fine to be uh, patriotic. It is fine to, 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 to be proud to be an American, but let's make sure we're pledging allegiance to the kingdom of God, amen, first and foremost. And then third and finally, I, I wonder how desperate the people of God are for God. I, I just wonder how desperate are we for God. I mean, seriously, desperate. Like, like, take everything else away. Strip everything else away. I don't need anything else. I don't want anything else. I just want God in my life. How desperate. So, can I end this video and this exhortation and encouragement to you all with a question to start our new year together? How desperate are you? How desperate are you for God? I pray we get tougher. I pray we become more mature than ever before. I, I pray that we will pledge allegiance to the right kingdom. And I pray that we will be desperate for God. Amen. Guys, we love you. Uh, as you might be able to tell, it's starting to rain. But I'm tough. <laughs> We're going to wrap it up. Happy New Year. Love you so much. Let's journey together. Amen. Be blessed.